all the chefs are kissing you. That sounds like a delicious gazpacho soup and I'm so happy it's all on my face. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Oh my goodness, happy Monday, how are you? If it's not Monday, happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Any day of the week you're living on is a good day of the week and I hope you're having a great day. I got some sparkly eyeshadow on today. Let me do a zoom in. I can't help myself. I'm gonna talk about what the eyeshadow is later. But can we just give her her own moment? Get into this sparkle, get into this shift. I mean, it's really out of this world stuff going on in my eyes today, you guys. I can't wait to tell you what it is. But also look at my little mossy bean earrings. Do you see the coordination? We got the little color jewel here, matches the little jewel tone on my eyes. Man, oh man, do I feel coordinated and do I feel good on this very fine day. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to find out how I color coordinate my earrings to my eye looks. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in my monthly makeup roundup. I feel like we need a theme song for my monthly makeup roundups. I don't know what the theme song is. Right now, I'm just shouting it and that's the theme song, but I'm gonna tinker away at it and come back with a theme song for you guys next month because a theme song really just makes everything more fun. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Giovanna, I'm a Virgo, I'm so happy to have you here. Every month on my channel, I do a monthly makeup roundup where I talk about all of the makeup I bought in the previous month as well as all of the makeup that I got in PR. I talk about makeup empty, sometimes I talk about makeup favorites, sometimes I talk about makeup I changed my mind about from the month before. It's really just a way for me to keep you up to date on how I'm feeling about the makeup I've been trying. So today I'm going to be talking about all of the makeup that I tried in the month of July. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you're interested in hearing about my monthly makeup roundup for July, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. Alrighty, so as always, we are going to start off by talking about the makeup that I bought with my own hard-earned dollar bills. And this month, I actually didn't buy very much. There was a second where I thought I didn't buy anything, but uh, yeah, I did buy a couple things, but I didn't buy a lot. So the first two things that I bought in the month of July were some products from Oma by Sharon C. Now if you missed that review video, I will link it on the screen and down below for you. Oma by Sharon C, here are my products right here. It's a new drugstore brand that's carried at Walmart and you can get it on the Oma Beauty website. That's right, it's a sister brand to the Oma Beauty, a brand that is carried at Ulta, a brand that is started by Sharon Shooter, who is a really, really cool person and makeup artist. And I really like everything I've tried from Oma by Sharon C. But in case you didn't see that review video, I'll give you a quick rundown. I tried the Flawless IRL Foundation, which this is such a cool foundation line. There are six different categories of foundation and each one has a different color cap and each one, each category has a different set of ingredients that are targeted towards that skin tone. And when I first heard this, I was like, Sharon, what are we doing over here? What does that mean? I, my brain can't comprehend how this works. But Sharon, I take it all back. Your brain brilliant, you're magnificent, all the chefs are kissing you because this has some sweet ingredients in it. So I'm in the fair category and my formula is infused with watermelon extract apple starch and lentil fruit. That sounds like a delicious gazpacho soup and I'm so happy it's all on my face because my skin loves this foundation. I'm wearing it today. Oh my goodness, look at her. Flawless. P f flawless IRL. Oh my gosh, I'm Flawless IRL. It's the name of the foundation. But yeah, this foundation's really, really good. I highly recommend you check out the video to see me like applying it and everything, but it's a nice coverage. It's definitely a light medium coverage, which is my absolute sweet spot. It's like the perfect amount of coverage for me, but what I really like about this foundation is how long wearing it is. As a lover of more dewy foundations, I'm kind of used to my foundation not being the most long wearing, and hey, I'm okay with it, you know? There are some days where I just want to look absolutely just like I freshly misted my face with serums and oils and things, and I know that's not going to last a long time, and that's okay, especially if I'm just wearing it for pictures, which I often am because I don't go a lot of places, but this 
this one will last you a full day. I wore this on the day of my niece's grad party and I did a lot of like helping them get ready for that grad party and like carrying stuff around during the day and also it was a long day that day and this lasted all day during that. I mean this is a really good long wearing foundation which is cool because I used to always associate long wearing foundations with more matte foundations and this is not a matte foundation. It is very much a natural radiant finish and it's really really beautiful and I'm talking about it a lot and I have a whole video on it so go check out that video if you want to hear more but I 10 out of 10 recommend the Oma by Sharon C Flawless IRL foundation. I'm in the shade T2 by the way if you need a shade reference. Is it too light for me? Yes and I don't want to talk about it but I am wearing T2 and then I also tried their what is it called? It's complicated lip tint plus oil plus gloss and it really does do all of those things. This is another incredibly long wearing product, especially as blush. I love this as blush. I know you're looking at the shade I have. The shade I have is Boasty and you're like, ooh, red is a blush, but hear me out, okay? It's a beautiful blush. Here's me wearing the beautiful blush. I mean, the proof, the proof is in the pudding, which is the picture. It's a beautiful blush, makes a beautiful lip tint as well. It's a nice stain, like it'll fade really nicely on your lips and look really nice throughout the day. It's okay on the eyes. I've worn it on the eyes. It's not gonna be my go-to on the eyes. Clearly, I'm more into like sparkly, shimmery blue eyeshadows and stuff like that, but it does wear nicely on the eyes and it does blend nicely on the eyes too. But my favorite way is to wear this have definitely been blush and as a lip stain. So I would definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this product as well. This is only $7. I think it's absolutely worth $7. This is a little bit pricier for the drugstore. It is $14.99, but you do get one fluid ounce of product and I only have to use one pump to cover my whole face. So I'm sure it's going to last me quite a bit of time. And I'm really impressed with this new drugstore brand, Oma by Sharon C. And I highly recommend you check them out and I will link them down below if you want to check them out right now. Okay. And then the only other thing that I bought in the month of July, which I literally just got yesterday, July 31st, so you can like barely even call it July anyways, but I got a refill of my favorite mascara, my newest favorite mascara, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I believe I've talked about this in a couple videos already because this was absolutely a product I underestimated. This is a product that was super hyped up on TikTok, so much to the point where I couldn't find it anywhere for like months, so I'm already like behind on the trend. Like no one on TikTok is talking about it anymore so now we have to talk about it on YouTube. Do you want to see my eyelashes? Let me see. Can you even see them today? Because I got a little fancy eyeshadow on. Yeah you can see those lashes. Look how long they are and look at my lower lashes. I mean this is a great mascara and what I really love about this mascara is that it's not waterproof. Well it comes in waterproof but I don't like the waterproof and it still wears beautifully throughout the day. Like what the literal heck is this? I don't know. I don't understand what's in here but this wears really nicely throughout the day on me like it doesn't smudge or anything which I have oily eyelids so I usually always get smudging no matter what with my mascaras this one doesn't smudge lasts really nicely throughout the day but isn't a pain in the butt to get off at the end of the day so if you are looking for a fun drugstore mascara to try out you want to switch things up a little bit I highly recommend checking out the Maybelline Sky High mascara and no you don't have to get the waterproof one for it to be long wearing so that's really great too got a lot of long wearing products this month oh look at me it's, well, I guess it's summertime, so I guess that makes sense. We're looking for long-lasting stuff. But that's all of the makeup that I bought in the month of July. So now let's talk about the makeup that I got in the month of July. Okay, so the first products I want to talk about, I technically got at the end of June, but I hadn't opened them until July. And I promised you guys last month that I would update you on the products I got in my Shop Miss A haul. Shop Miss A was kind enough to sponsor a video for me. They ended up sponsoring a giveaway. I have picked the winner, by the way. Thank you guys so much for all entering that. I used a random name generator, so it was totally unbiased and everything, but thank you guys so much for entering. But anyways, I wanted to update you on some of my favorites because I tried so much in that video that I'm sure you don't remember half the stuff. And then I also got some skincare that I didn't review in the video because obviously skincare takes longer, but I'm actually going to start with the Shop Miss A skincare. Did you guys even know Shop Miss A had skincare? I certainly didn't, but I'm about to go get a lot more of it because it's really good. And you can see here, I have completely 
finished up this moisturizer. Isn't that kind of interesting how it comes in this packaging? I thought this was gonna last me like three days. It lasted me over three weeks. Like, don't be confused by the size of this packaging. It will last you quite a long time. I think they might have a bigger size, which I'll definitely get on my next order. But for $1, I got this Squalane 100,000 ppm. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know what the heck that means, but this is a Squalane moisturizer. And if you haven't tried Squalane yet and you have dry skin, get on it. Squalane is an amazing ingredient that is super, super good for dry skin. It says on the back that Squalane protects and calms, helps to energize the skin, mimics the skin's natural moisturizing factor, and has antioxidant properties. Um, say less. And I have really sensitive skin, so trying new skincare for me is a risk, you know? I almost didn't even want to pick any skincare when I placed my Shop Miss A order, but I was really impressed to see that they have relatively clean ingredients in there and they're fragrance-free, which is awesome. I don't know if all of the skincare is fragrance-free, but all of the products that I tried are fragrance-free, which is great for my sensitive skin. And I have just absolutely loved this moisturizer. And like I said, I'm definitely getting more. Another thing I really loved from their skincare line are these invisible acne patches. So these have tea tree and sea I-C-A. I looked up what that meant. What is it? What is it? What is it? Centella Asiat Asiatica. Asia Dang it, Santella Asiatica, also known as C-I-C-A, or Sika, I don't know. It's a super ingredient that's an antioxidant, moisturizing, and calming. I have heard of that before. I've heard wonderful things about Centella, so I definitely, that was a draw for me. And then it also has tea tree in it. You guys know about tea tree. Tea tree is great for absorbing impurities out of your pimples and whatnot, so that all sounded really great for me. Now, do I think this has like made my pimples disappear overnight? No, but what I really love about these is that they never look worse in the morning, like they always look a little more soothed. But something I have an issue with, and I think this is relatable to a lot of people because I've heard other people talk about it, but I think we're all a little embarrassed to talk about. I have so much trouble not popping pimples when they pop up. I get so fixated on it, I have, I just, I can't leave it alone, you know? And I try so hard and sometimes I'll go the whole day and then before I go to sleep, I'm like, I have to pop it. I know popping pimples is bad. I know that allows more bacteria into it. I know that means it's gonna take longer to heal like that's the frustrating thing is like I know it's bad to do but like I'll just do it anyways I don't know do you guys have that similar experience because it's I felt bad about it for a long time but I know a lot of people do it and it's not like a weird thing but if you have that issue I highly recommend getting some patches like this because my greatest thing with these is that it keeps me from touching it having something over it that I know is like doing good things for the pimple helps me from touching it and this one has a double adhesive it says two times adhesive on the front so it really will stick over that pimple it's not going to slide off or anything and it's just been really good for me for not touching my pimples and it does help them to appear more soothed in the morning so i love that about it too and uh yeah these are both one dollar so really pretty risk-free purchase for you guys and I really like it. I'm definitely gonna get these again because I think they're really, really great. Okay, so that's the skincare stuff I liked from Shop Miss A. Let me quickly show you a couple makeup favorites. If you saw my how to do graphic liner with cream gel liner video, then you already saw me use their buttercream gel liners. I love these gel liners. They go on so, so smoothly. The colors are so, so vibrant. Well, I've only used the one color so far, but this shade, Optimistic, is a really, really vibrant neon shade stays in the waterline really really well doesn't fade at all and I'm really loving the buttercream liners I do have two other shades I don't know why the other shades I have are kind of dull I want to go back and get some more of the neons because the neon shades really fun also they're cream products you guys know I love cream products I'm a big cream products fan and shop miss a's cream products are so good first you have this dewy highlighter which I think is supposed to be a duochrome but it really just goes on kind of pink it's really pretty let me see if I can do a swatch for you here here. It's probably hard to see, but you can just see it's got a nice sheen to it. It's not super, super glittery or shimmery or anything. It's definitely a subtle highlight to me, but I kind of been liking that lately. You know, every once in a while, I want to be like really blinding and everything, but this is a nice subtle cream highlight and it doesn't get sticky or anything, you know, like it definitely sinks into the skin. I don't feel like I'm getting hair stuck to my face all day or anything. I have the shade Dream, by the way, if you're interested in like a nice pinky shade. And then I also love this cream blush. This is the shade Passion. 
Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. It's such a nice punchy, corally, pinky color, and this formula is unreal. It reminds me a lot of the Honest Beauty Cream Blush formula, which if you're not new to my channel, you know that's like my favorite cream blush formula ever. And this one, do you see the pigment? For a freaking get about it. It's so pigmented, but it blends out so nicely. I'm trying to demonstrate it on my hands, but you can see I'm just like tapping it lightly and it's blending out beautifully, but it maintains its pigment, but at the same time if you want to shear it out you totally can if you want to build it up you totally can I'm really really impressed with the cream products from shop miss a as well as the buttercream liners as well as that skincare that I tried so I definitely am gonna be placing another shop miss a order really soon alrighty so now let's move on to some products that were sent to me in PR this month the first thing I want to talk about is the desert monsoon palette from what's up beauty I feel like I've been mentioning this on a lot of videos lately so I will keep it very very brief this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. If you look at the inside here, you can see this beautiful, beautiful color story. It is inspired by summer monsoons that happen in the Pacific West, Pacific Southwest. I think this brand is based in Arizona. So they were inspired by the monsoons that they get in the summertime. You can see they got the picture of like the storm on the front here. I just really love the theming of this. I think it's really beautiful. And I'm wearing this shade downpour on my eyes today. I told you I was going to tell you what was on my eyes and it's this shade. And holy freaking moly I wish I could show you guys the shift I only see the shift in my bathroom weirdly enough I'll try to take a video on my phone and insert it here so you can see the shift because it's so pretty it's purple to blue to just nonsense it's nonsense how good it is it's just a really beautiful shade I've also I wore this shade recently in my last get ready with me I wore both of these shades these have definitely been my two faves so far but I'm also wearing this shade down here glow this neutral shimmer as my brow bone highlight today and my face highlight oh my gosh I forgot I'm wearing glow as my face highlight because it's a beautiful beautiful glowy highlight and uh yeah I told you I wouldn't talk about this too long because I've already talked about it a lot but it's a really good palette <gasps> Wait a second, I haven't peeled off the mirror thing yet. Oh my gosh, we get to do it together. That's so exciting. Ah, that's a fresh mirror, baby. I always forget to peel these off, but I'm so glad that we got to do it together. It landed in my hair. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I cannot recommend the What's Up Beauty Desert Monsoon palette enough. I have loved every single shade I've tried so far, and I cannot wait to keep playing with it. And another cool thing about What's Up Beauty is they started out as a nail polish brand, so they have a nail polish collection that goes with a freaking palette. Do these look familiar to you? Uh, it's because they're the same shade eyeshadow. I just think that's so smart. That's so cool. I actually wore these two shades on my nails when I was at my boyfriend's parents' house. I'll see if I can put a little video here so you can see it on my nails. They look so pretty. You know, I did the purple, but I did a little pop of the blue. I actually have this blue shade on my toenails, which I'm not going to show you because that's no thank you about that. But they actually have the same names and everything. So like this shade in the palette is called Downpour. This shade in the nail polish is called Downpour. This one's called Succulent in the palette and in the polish. And I I just thought that was a really cool thing of them to coordinate. They even have some mattes that coordinate with shades in the palette. So you have Dust Storm and Tempest. You can see Dust Storm, you can see Tempest. That's matchy matchy. You can match your eyes to your nails. I wish I had done that today. I gotta soak these off. This is dip polish but I really love both the nail polish and the eyeshadow palette, and I'm really happy that What's Up Beauty sent it to me. Thank you so much, What's Up Beauty, and you guys should definitely, definitely check them out. These shadows are super high quality, and so are the polishes. All right, let's move on to some products that were sent to me from Estate Cosmetics. Estate Cosmetics has sent me quite a few things in the past. I think I'm on their PR list, which is really cool, but this month they sent me their new Space Bound Highlighters. They come in this really cute packaging. It's got little spaceships on it. We love that. You guys know I love space. I got my little stars and moons earrings on and I got stars in my eyes today. Oh my gosh, have fun. But they sent me their new space bound highlighters. They come in three shades. One's like a champagne -y shade. One is a pinky shade. And then there's a bronzy shade, which I haven't even touched yet because I'm going to give it to somebody whose skin tone it's more suited for. But these are beautiful, you guys. I'm so, so impressed with these. I tried this on during my last get ready with me. So if you want to see me apply it live, I will link that on the screen. Also, it's a really fun get ready with me. 
but this is just like wet looking. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters in the sense that you can see it's kind of like putty-like in that way, but these feel much creamier to me because I know, I feel like it's kind of an unpopular makeup opinion, but I always felt like the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters were a little dry on my dry skin. Maybe if you have oily skin, they're not, but on my dry skin, they were a little bit dry. These are much more moisturizing to me. I mean, you'll see when I swatch it, they're just creamy as heck. I mean, you can really just go in there and rub them in and they are super, super creamy and reflective, but not glittery. I have been loving this. I brought this shade, Blast Off, the champagne shade here on my vacation with me when I was visiting my boyfriend's parents. It's the only highlighter I wore the whole time and I felt really, really glamorous in it. I like the pink one too. The pink one's nice for when I'm having like a super, super blushy day. I'll swatch the pink one for you too. Why not? This shade is called Lunar, equally creamy, holy freaking moly. And you can see it's got a nice little pinky shift to it. But it's not like so pink that I think it needs to be a blush topper. Like you could definitely wear this as just a highlight too. And it would look beautiful because it is beautiful. So I 10 out of 10 recommend the new Space Bound Highlighters from Estate Cosmetics. I think they are so, so, so good. And the other new launch that Estate sent to me this month, they had a couple big launches this month. Good for you guys, Estate. But they sent me their new Lip Thirst Lip Quenching Lip Lippies. Lippies, I have a little card here. I wasn't sure what they were called. Lip Thirst, Lip Quenching Lippies, and they are lip quenching, I have to tell you that much. One thing I will say is I was a little disappointed when I opened these. The packaging does feel kind of cheap. Not that Estate's the most expensive brand, they're definitely not. I don't know how much these are gonna cost. It didn't even say when they're launching. I hope I'm allowed to talk about this. You know what, it didn't say I wasn't, so we're gonna talk about it. These feel a little cheap, but the product is really, really nice inside. I'm wearing the shade Rhea today. Do you like the shade I have on my lips? It's one of these. I'll show you some swatches here so you can see the type of color they are. They look really deep in the tube, but they definitely can be sheared out or built up. So if you just do one swipe, you'll get like a nice sheer wash of color, which is what I have on my lips here today but you can also build them up to be more opaque and to be a deeper color. This is the shade Rhea. And then you have the shade Cosmo, which this is a nice red. I love a sheer red like this. I hardly ever wear just like an all red lipstick unless it's like the holidays, but I love that this is sheer, but you can also build that up as well. I'm definitely gonna try these out as blushes too and let you guys know, cause I'm like, oh, these could be beautiful blush shades. All right, so then you have the shade Pina, which looks like it's more of like a berry shade Oh, I love shades like this so much. This is the first shade I tried on the day I opened them and I was like, okay, I'm in, I'm in a state, you got me. But Pina is a really, really beautiful shade as well. And then the last shade is called Pink Pony, which I wore this one yesterday. This is such an easy, like one and done lip product. It's basically my perfect pinky nude, but I'll show you what it looks like. You can see very subtle, definitely the most subtle of all of them, but you can build it up to be a little bit more mauve if you like it to. But these are your four shades. I think they're all really pretty. I think they gave you a good variety of shades. And according to this little info card, it says they have shea butter in them. So that's great. You know, it'll feel nice on your lips throughout the day. I've been wearing this for a couple hours now and it still feels really nice. I actually haven't had to touch up at all, which is amazing. And I wore one of these out last night when I went out to a brewery, I had a couple of years and it was still looking good by the time I got home. So I can definitely vouch these wear nicely throughout the day and they feel really nice on my dry lips. So I would definitely recommend checking out the new Lip Thirst Lip Balms from Estate Cosmetics. Again, I don't know how much they're gonna be or anything. They are kind of cheap feeling, but the product inside is very, very good. All right, you guys. And that is all of the makeup that I got in the month of July. It's all of the makeup. I got a lot of makeup in the month of July. Thank you to any of the brands that sent me stuff. I I really, really appreciate. I should have mentioned earlier, I'm not obligated to talk about any of the things that I was sent in PR, except for the Shop Miss A stuff, but that was for a different video. I only needed to talk about it in my giveaway video. I'm not obligated to talk about it anymore, but I don't have to talk about any of this stuff. I'm just talking about it because I like sharing my opinions with you. And I would love to know what products you guys tried in the month of July. Tell me what makeup discoveries you have made. I love when you guys give me recommendations. I feel like you guys give me the best recommendations you guys are the reason I tried the e.l.f. putty primer. You're the reason I use my setting spray I used today. You are the reason that I use so many of my makeup products. So I really, really appreciate your recommendations. Thank you so much. 
and check out some of my more recent videos. I just uploaded a video last Friday talking about the best indie makeup that I've tried this year, so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I also did a video recently talking about the best colorful eyeshadow palettes that I have, so a lot of fun colorful content, a lot of fun indie brand content for you on my channel to check out. Also, stay tuned for later this week because we're going to be doing some early 2000s makeup transformations. I got a really fun one planned for this week and a really fun one planned for next week and I'm just so excited for all of the new Y2K content I got coming at you real soon so be sure to subscribe and I thank you so much for watching. Check out my description box for all of the makeup on my face today as well as all of the makeup that I mentioned today. Also in my description box I will have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please click on those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!